Hi, my name is Flavia de Sosa. I have been a medical ICU nurse for over a year. I am in the nurse leadership class at UNCW. Um, I am currently engaging in nursing practice through evidence-based practice council. So what I do is I go to these meetings monthly um, for our unit specifically, the medical ICU. And I also attend the evidence-based practice council in which we discuss an issue and we try to brainstorm solutions. Currently, what we are working on is nurse morale and how to increase the morale of the medical ICU unit because we've noticed there is a decrease in staff, there is a low morale, there is less teamwork, and we are trying to improve upon that so it translates over to our patient care. One short-term goal that I have is to complete my CCRN. It's a national certification for critical care nurses. One long-term goal that I have is to become a nurse practitioner. I'm still trying to decide as to whether it would be acute critical care nurse practitioner or whether I would go into a general practice such as GI, renal, and so on and so forth. Um, in regards to how my attitude has been affected by either a positive or negative nurse leader and or manager experience, currently one positive leader and manager in my um, life and work is Miss Nita Greenleaf at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. She is an incredible, thoughtful manager, and she handles all situations right then and there. If she is not able to, she pencils you in and sets up a follow-up date. So you always ensure that you get follow-up on in regards to a situation. So she handles everything very appropriately, and she's very thoughtful and listens to you. So I feel as though she handles things extremely well, and that makes me very motivated um, and very grateful and loyal to her for that reason. One negative um, nurse leadership or manager role and how it affected me negatively, um, there was one that was not as willing to work with a schedule when I was going through nursing school and I was very stressed out and trying to further my education. So that really negatively affected me because I wasn't as motivated or as excited to work for someone that wasn't willing to invest in my education. However, to contrast that, Nita invest in her employees and their education and wanting to see them progress further, whether it be in the ICU or whether it be in a new role such as advanced nurse practitioner. So that's something I really appreciate. I'm excited to meet everyone. I'm excited to um, complete this class and move on forward with hopefully one day a leadership role as a nurse practitioner and furthering my nursing career. Thank you so much.